Hi, uh, good morning and welcome back. Today let's learn the working of a centrifugal pump with this animation over here. So this is a centrifugal pump over here and let's see the fluid flow. The arrow shows the fluid flow. It reaches through the suction pipe and reaches the eye end of the impeller and carried by the impeller when the impeller rotates. And that's a part of the fluid flow and that's uh, the discharge. So you can see the suction point and the discharge point. Let's reverse it and see it once more. So this is how the fluid flow is actually happening. So let's see more details about the centrifugal pump. Uh, okay, that's the impeller which is shown in a red. So that rotates and result in carrying the fluid through the casing of the impeller, uh, through, uh, I mean, the centrifugal pump itself. And uh, that's the volute casing. The uh, significance of this casing is that you can see the area increases gradually from the top to bottom. As you can see, at the top, at this area, we have uh, less uh, area gap between the casing and the impeller. But as it slowly comes down, the area increases as shown here in the uh, yellow shade. So what happens is that at the top, at this point, the velocity of the oil will be much higher and the pressure will be less but as it comes down as the area increases velocity gradually decreases because the area is slowly increasing and uh, as the area is increasing thereby the pressure increases so we'll get a pressured discharge over here okay so that's the significance of the volute casing and uh, that's the drive for the impeller so a motor is connected over here to give the drive uh, for the impeller so it this impeller is connected by a shaft towards the motor to get uh, its drive okay so let's uh, go further this is the eye end of the impeller through this area the suction is happening uh, due to the low pressure as the impeller rotates with the help of uh, the motor it creates a suction so let's see it again so that's the fluid coming in a suction is happening impeller rotates and that's the fluid flow direction and uh, the discharge happens so I believe uh, you have learned how a centrifugal pump works and we need your support to keep going and uh, please click the like button or do drop a comment to motivate us for more technical video updates you can subscribe to us uh, we are available in Facebook and also in Twitter our Android application is also available just search for Tectrix info in uh, Google Play you can also visit our website or bookmark it for more details thanks for watching have a great day